Sunanda Tharoor, ever since your husband become a minister, just two days uh, later, you're the object of so many people's uh, you know, comments and we have Narendra Modi attacking you. What did you make of that? I was extremely disappointed. Uh, as I was uh, telling earlier to another friend of mine, I said, uh, the Chief Minister of Gujarat, which is a beautiful state, it was just so, uh, I mean, it was just such a, how could he stoop to something like that? And also, I mean, come on, we have Gujarat who's given us Mahatma Gandhi, who's given us Sardar Patel, and then you've got uh, this guy. And I was just completely horrified. I mean, I, I thought it was just uh, well, women's groups, women politicians, uh, a lot of people who are writing into us, they're all writing in your support. But are you bracing yourself for these kind of attacks now because you're in the limelight? You're the minister's wife? No, I hope that uh, everybody is not, uh, uh, you know, uh, like this guy or uh, people who are supporting him from his party. I don't think that uh, every, I expect every uh, Indian politician to be like this. No, I think I have had some good experiences with some great Indian politicians, so I don't think I'm, there's, I don't think there's anything to brace. What I do feel is sad for them, that they could stoop to this level. Do you think it's kind of, you know, we've heard a lot of comments, everyone's kind of saying that the ones who are condemning it, they're saying this is part of the sexism that we're seeing in politics. Uh, we've heard lots of comments, we've heard, uh, you know, our cabinet minister, uh, Mr. Jaiswal talk about marriage in a kind of derogatory manner, talking about wives losing charm as they grow older. We saw the Home Minister stand in Parliament and tell Jaya Bachchan uh, to keep quiet because he said this is not about movies. Why do you think women are belittled in this manner in the public space? I actually seriously don't know. I, that's a question I really can't answer, I, although I do feel terribly sad in a country where we have such great women uh, in leading positions in politics. I mean, yes. you've got Sonia Gandhi. Yes. I mean, she's fabulous. Then you have the opposition leader. She's yes. uh, a woman. So you've women in the, powerful positions. You know, just look at it. Then you've got the uh, Speaker of the House, Meera Kumar. She's a woman, a very dignified woman. Uh, we've got so many women down south. We've got a lot of women in Parliament. I simply don't get it that why do guys belittle women? I mean, ultimately, in the end of the day, you are born from these very women. I mean, not these particular women, I mean, they were born from women. And you have to have some respect, some dignity. Do you, would you go home and talk to your wives like this? But in the case of the Gujarat uh, chief minister, I can't even say probably does. But uh, I just feel terribly sad that people are get so personal and uh, they, I mean, belittle women. As you rightly said, for someone to tell Jayaji that, you know, this is not uh, films and stuff, it's, it's downright disgusting. Did any of these politicians, did you have other women reach out to you in support? Absolutely everybody. Absolutely everybody, I'm, which is one of the reasons that I'm talking. I normally, I had made a promise to myself that I would never talk to, uh, you know, I would never do a television interview on, uh, you know, when I was uh, involved in that silly controversy. But I've had a lot of women say, please talk about it so that we are there, we're supporting you, not just women, what about men? People are forgetting that there are men today really? who are awakening. Yes, absolutely. You'll be surprised that with, along with women, and of course, lots of women have supported this, um, but uh, men, men have come out and said that uh, this is horribly disgusting. There is one uh, friend of mine who is an industrialist, I won't name him, who has industries set up in Gujarat, says to me, uh, the other day, uh, I respect his privacy, but said to me that I used to admire this man. I have completely changed my opinion about him, and now I'll be very wary, you know, of uh, doing work in Gujarat. And I said, you can't blame a state for a man. You can't blame, you know, like, I can't blame, uh, you know, the entire political system mm -hmm. of uh, entire politicians for one man's bad What remark. would you say to Narendra Modi? I would have nothing to say to him. Nothing to say to him. A man, uh, somebody told me, is he going to apologize? Do you expect him to apologize? I said, a man who hasn't apologized to his people for the killing of innocent Gujaratis in his wake, if he hasn't had that decency to apologize to his people, how would I expect an apology from him? You know, I, I, I said to you, a lot of our viewers and everyone who's watching these comments, hearing these comments, 
Uh, I want to uh, talk also about what other women go through molestation. It seemed that you had an episode in Thiruvananthapura Mayapur. I want to talk about that. But just to play the devil's advocate and talk about what the BJP, because the BJP responded to these things yesterday. They said, well, in a way, some of them tried to vindicate it by saying, you know, there is that controversy about IPL Kochi, uh, about the IPL team and the 50 crores. So uh, while Narendra Modi shouldn't have made comments, but uh, the Tharoor's and Sunanda Tharoor needs to explain that issue. Do you think that perhaps there are still some questions left unanswered there? I think so. I can see from the uh, questions and I, uh, that they have unanswered questions. We have completely sorted it out. I have given my explanations even as far as to the ED and had it all clear. I'd like to ask the BJP or anybody else who thinks I have this uh, imaginary money, uh, where is it? And also, how did it suddenly become 50 crore? Earlier the imaginary figure 70 was 70 crore. crore. Okay. So where have they, have they taken the 20 crore? Um, I don't know, because I was highly uh, amused by the figure suddenly. Yeah. Or are they comfortable They got it wrong the, while they're attacking you. No, I think they might be comfortable using the word 50. Maybe they thought 70 is not comfortable. Maybe they had a strategy. They said, I don't know. I can say that the BGP needs to really figure this one out. And I myself saw a program yesterday on NDTV at 8 o'clock where Sohail Seth was on the program. Yes. You had a BGP uh, yes. person also there. And he had all his facts so wrong. I would ask them and urge them that you must go do your research, find out how, to, how, how in the first place did they come up with the 70 crore, now they've suddenly come up with 50 crore, it's all imaginary figures. Show me the money. Show me the money if I was doing something. There were reports at that time that you just gave back the equity. I gave back uh, uh, what the, the people were, at the, you know, the, the uh, Japs were doing, the coach I were planning to, in future, perhaps in 10 years time, if they made anything, would it, the shares would have been of some value. Okay. There was no money in that exchange. So it was just a promised commitment. Absolutely. And, and no there was, was no money. If you asked any IPL owner today, they will tell you that they it's a, it's a difficult proposition today. Okay. You've bid at such a high rate, where are you going to make the money? In fact, I don't understand where did this figure in the first place come up? Why don't they explain this to me? Why don't they explain this to the nation that where is this 50 crore that they think I have? Or the 70 crores at that time? That no, now it's 50, so I'm going to say 50 okay. because obviously okay. let me not, uh, if they have decided that they rather, maybe they... Do you think that do you think that perhaps, you know, this needs to be sorted out? You say that you've explained everything to the enforcement directorate and it's sorted. Do you think that politically, because that's the kind of politics we're seeing these days of targeting, of taking up, you know, washing dirty linen in public and of course of family being targeted. Do you think you need to, you know, you need someone, to, uh, 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 maybe another, you know, what kind of, uh, to kind of settle it once and for? How do you think it will be settled? I don't think they should target family. In, in fact, whether it's a Robert Vardar, whether it's me, whether it's anybody of the fa family members, I don't see why you're targeting uh, uh, individuals who are not in politics. Mm -hmm. I mean, for that matter, uh, at the moment, uh, you know, Priyanka is not in politics either, but you're targeting her husband. Uh, fine, if uh, Shashi has decided to be in politics, then, you know, ask him directly, why are you using crutches? And, why would you want to demean women? And I've seen these guys are demeaning women from the beginning. They've been saying such bad stuff about all women. I mean, they yes. co they're calling people cows. They're calling people uh, all sorts of love, love, whatever this well, thing is. Well, you're talking about Mukhtar Abbas Nakvi's statement, uh, talking yeah. about Shashi Tharun, calling him an international love guru. Where did he get it from, do you think? I don't know. I can only say that it's very sad in a country like ours that they don't uh, believe in PDA because the point is, we are a country which PDF is emotional. for our viewers, I just want to explain. You're talking about public displays of affection. affection. Uh, in our country, I grew up in a family where my father would hug me and kiss me. My mother would hug me at the drop of her hat. Yes. I hug my son at the drop of her hat. We are an affectionate family. Shashi is an affectionate person. Yes. I have seen only Shashi is targeted. But if you can ask any other young minister, that do you love your wife? He's obviously going to say, yes, I love my wife. But they wife. don't talk about their wives, though, the way Shashi Tharoor does. But do, do you interview them? Has anybody ever asked them openly? Look at the interviews. Shashi is asked because he's targeted, because probably we're still uh, yeah. in, in love. love. Yeah. We're still not. What is that guy who said about the old uh, marriages getting old and yeah. women getting really whatever? Yes, that was, that yeah. was also such a sad thing to say. He said that, you know, obviously he didn't want to. And then I tried to, by the way, you're asking me 
whether why don't you go and interview them i wanted to interview his wife after that and him sitting along with his wife mrs shri prakash jaiswal and i was told definitely not no way because obviously uh, you know I, i don't know for what reason but they said we are not going to let them speak so we try so would do you think that shashi tharoor is you know just because like other people he talks about uh, his emotions for his wife and deeply felt emotions it makes people uncomfortable is this an indian thing or is it a political thing do you think it's certainly not an indian thing it's not i mean you must have experienced it when you go and meet people uh, today the uh, every indian hugs and kisses each other yes i mean the younger generation yes. i mean it's time for the younger generation to look at change and say why we go around uh, i haven't seen any place i've gone in delhi i mean any place including where there are ministers and everywhere where everybody just hug each other yes right? sure sure so but why do you want to, sh- to show uh, and you're showing it to what the average audience who are anyway affection i'm from a average family you're from an average family we all uh, are you trying to tell me your father never hugged you your mother never hugged you your family never, no it doesn't work like that there's some kind of a strange perhaps an unwritten law mm-hmm. uh, that happens and uh, in our case because we are having cameras all over yes. uh, the place uh, focused on us but if take any other minister and focus him you a younger minister you'll see he's very affectionate i won't don't want to name names yes. but i'm glad to see that all of our young ministers are very affectionate towards their wives and why not but they don't I, I ask, perhaps, no of course and i'm not saying this in any way to say it's a bad thing but i'm saying i'm just pointing out that perhaps do you think that they are not used to or you know the Uh, people are not used to seeing politicians talk openly about their private lives and talking about love which is you know a wonderful emotion and are you surprised at the kind of attack that is getting are you surprised about that no i'm not because i think that uh, in this case uh, the bjp uh, have nothing else to attack you on i mean uh, if they were real men and real uh, people out there mm-hmm. they would actually look at proper issues they would attack the congress on proper issues if they felt they were any by doing this they have nothing else to say they obviously are satisfied with the government because everything they have there's no proof they attack everybody without proof and in fact forget about everything else they just make up stories as they go they carry on so i mean obviously they uh, this guy wants to win the election who has turned around and uh, called me a 50 uh, put a price tag on a woman and i'm glad the women are rallying around and saying we will not i have somebody asked me that would you like uh, what do you think of him as a future pm i said look i certainly don't think of him as a future pm but i would like to uh, ask the youth of this country and the women of this country that would you want a man like this to lead you a man who doesn't respect you who is uh, talking about malnutrition women in gujarat yes. as a uh, fashion conscious and that's why they are malnutrition does he even know his people has he gone out there fine he's been lucky till now i guess but i think it's time that people got up and said wait a minute if we in the 21st century do we really need a person like this to lead us mm. i mean what would the state of this country be uh, you can't he doesn't have anything to attack congress on so he decides to attack a woman how good is that india's number one news app just got even better download any tv's new app fully optimized for retina display full screen view faster response time and sudoku ndtv's new ipad app download now